your woman's ass look like when you got with her, you know what I'm saying, like a big old nice round apple, all delicious and everything, and this is what your woman's ass look like right now, like a big old lumpy bowl of cottage cheese or fucking lumpy ass oatmeal or something, then you need to be listening in real close right now, just like the NSA, my dude, real talk. This is a worldwide premiere. This is a worldwide premiere. Hold your own nuts. Okay, so this is the uh, Friday evening hold your own nuts session. It's your boy SKD. And this show here, I'm going to try to do one of these videos every Friday evening. Uh, and the show is uh, just uh, designated strictly for my dudes out there, for the dudes out there, for the guys. Whether you're black, white, short, tall, big, skinny, whatever, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, this is for you dudes out there. Um, just because uh, the purpose of it is just to give some uh, incognito advice. Um, to men out there about finances, women, uh, healthy self-esteem, and um, the reason why is because I feel that's sort of lacking right now uh, in our society and all our communities. So, um, why me? I have a uh, wealth of experience uh, with uh, enormous amounts of women uh, finding a way to get that paper and make a living, a good living in life and with uh, dealing with uh, general challenges challenges to manhood. Um, so before I get started on this week's show which is episode one, let me clear up a little something about my YouTube page. See I just started uh, doing regular videos about a couple of weeks ago so I haven't had a chance to make a video where I'm detailing the guidelines of my uh, YouTube page so briefly I'm gonna address one issue um, now on YouTube uh, if you moderate your own page there's a whole lot of things you can do there's a whole lot of settings you can make all of my videos I upload None of the comments go through until I approve them. And um, if you come to my uh, channel and you make a comment, I probably 95% of the time will not respond to you because I'm too busy doing another video or something else or working and I don't have the time. That's one. Number two, uh, I don't, don't want to get into a confrontation back and forth with somebody over something I said because this is YouTube and I can say whatever I want to say. You don't have to agree with it and I don't have to agree with you. So we're not going to go back and forth and I'm not having any mess on my page. So about the comments, a couple of people have come to my page and left little ugly comments. As a moderator of my page, I will not let any of those negative comments come through where you're calling names or anything like that. That's not going to happen. I'll accept all positive comments and I'll accept some negative comments if you're just stating your opinion and you're not calling names and you're not judging or anything like that. Um, but if you think you're going to come to my page and leave comments and leave multiple comments and all that, as a moderator, I can block all your comments so nobody sees them. So every comment I block, you might still see it in your browser, but it's not really on my page. Other people are not seeing it, so you're just wasting your time typing. So approach me with respect and I'll approach you with respect. Um, now that that's out of the way, let's get on with this uh, 
thing I'm talking about today. If you notice the title, um, um, you, first of all, females out there, calm down. I'm not talking to you. This is strictly to the bros, uh, to the men out there. Um, not talking to you females. So if you thought you was going to come to this video and give me a hard time and all that, just relax. I'm not talking to you. I'm just telling men how to handle the situation here. So, now, men, if you have a woman that you've been with for a while, or maybe a short while, and she's gaining weight and you don't like it, there's something you can do about it. Now, in this video, I'm going to instruct you exactly on how to get to the nitty gritty, no games, no fear, just go in, get it done, and hopefully you get some good results now as with every video i put in this series of um hold your own nut sessions um if you hear any of my advice that helps you well that's good you don't even have to tell anybody where you got the advice from just use the advice and if it helps you out that's good um that's my reward so um now your woman's gotten big okay Tell her to lose weight. I know it seems simple, but listen. You deserve to be with the person in all aspects, personality, physical attributes, all that that you got with and that you desire. Now, I want to say this before I go any further. If your woman was big or fat when you got with her, then this right here is not going to uh, work for you. Cut the video off because you've already consented to being with a big girl, a fat girl. Okay, so this is not going to work for you. I'm not talking about you dudes, but all you other dudes out there who got with a woman who had a banging body or she was slender and then now she's gaining some weight. I'm talking to you if you don't like it. Now. The setup to this is uh, it's a heavy lifting and you gotta have some balls. That's why it's called hold your own nuts, okay? This is not for the weak at heart. If you go to approach your woman with something and she yells at you and you just run and hide in the corner or go in your man cave and watch TV, this is not for you. You don't have the balls yet. Get your ball weight up and then come back. If you are the type of dude that goes to the bathroom and you tuck your nuts under before you sit down to pee, this video is not for you, okay? You gotta be a man. This is big boy, big boy talk here, okay? So look, the setup to this. I'm gonna do an overview first. I've made some notes, so I'm gonna do an overview. Uh, six things that you're gonna need in preparation for this, okay? Number one, sack up and hold your own nuts. What does that mean? That means that, like I said, if you're the type of soft dude that your woman got you in check, you need to reverse that situation now. Now, I'm going to get to that a little bit later, how you can reverse that. And it's going to take some time. But for the other dudes that are not in that situation, and you have a pretty good rapport with your woman, you've been with her a while, you talk straight to her, and there's no repercussions, at least not for you know a long while, then you can go on to number two. Drop your fear. Any fear you might have of telling your woman anything, drop it. Drop it. We're not here to play games. Not here to uh, beat around the bush. Drop it. You think she's going to run off and get with somebody else, that can happen anyway, no matter what you say. If you think she, she's, you know, um, going to just withdraw and she's going to treat you like shit and all that, that can happen anyway. So listen, number two, drop your fear. Number three, Remember how you got her. The woman had a banging body. She was slim and all that. She had a nice, pretty smile. You walked up to her at the club or at the grocery store, whatever you did. Remember how you got her. And the reason I say that is remember how you got her because you can always do that again. Don't listen to what women try to tell you about, oh, you're getting older and no woman's going to want you. And, oh, you know, you're not what you were 20 years ago. Trust and believe. The standards for men and for women are totally different in this society. Women 
have a cutoff date. They age very badly when they get to a certain age. It's just not fair. But there are things with a woman that are, are, are not fair to us, too. But men tend to age gracefully. Not only that, if you're successful and have something going for yourself, you got some money, you got a house and all that, you can always get a woman. So just remember the way you got her and that you can get somebody else the same way. There's always somebody else that you can do the same thing to get them. So, uh, number four in the setup is start doing things for yourself. If you're the type of dude right now that relies on your woman for everything when you come home for work from work, um, like you just come home and plop yourself in the chair and you're just tired and you don't do anything for yourself, you don't clean behind yourself, you don't cook for yourself, you never do any of that, change that today. Change it today. Start doing things for yourself. Okay? And that not only includes things around the house. Go ahead and uh, grab your balls. Go ahead and go out and get a new suit or something for yourself. Do things for yourself. Make your own dinner three or four times a week. See, and when you first start doing that, if that's not your regular pattern, it's going to throw her off for a minute. It's going to throw her off because she's not going to know what to think. And you might get approached with all kinds of things, but just ignore it. Just keep your cool. Just keep doing things for yourself, okay? Number five. Practice what you preach. You know that you're going to approach her about losing weight. So, my dudes, you understand? If you're not in shape, if you're not at least have a, if you don't at least have a decent uh, physique, start tackling that right away. Start going to the gym three times a week. Start taking an hour at the gym, working out. Get yourself back in the shape you were long ago before you started getting that pot belly if you got one or whatever get back in shape because you're going to have to approach her with this and you have to lead by example you're the male you lead by example so practice what you preach get yourself in shape at least uh, get kind of semi back to the way you were in shape uh, work out a little bit go jogging do, do be active don't let her sit, see you sitting there doing nothing. Because what I'm about to tell you in a minute is not going to work if, if that's the case. Okay, so practice what you preach. Uh, and number six, when you get ready to say this to her, be direct and come out and say it. Don't beat around the bush. Don't hem and haul. Grab your nuts. Hold your nuts. Come out and say it. Okay? Direct confrontation. When you watch a movie, uh, it's like a bullet to the head. When you watch a movie and you see some dude shoot somebody in the head, the bullet doesn't come out the gun and go around the corner, take a detour and talk about all, uh, other kinds of things and come back around the corner and then go into the person's head. It goes straight into the person's head. Okay, so be direct. Okay, now, you should, at this point, be able to tell your woman anything uh, you feel in your heart uh, without fear of any repercussions or adverse results or reprisals. Uh, if you are not at that point, see the six things that I told you to do in preparation for this. Now, once you start doing those things, it will start to develop. You will start to, uh, um, uh, you will start to feel like you can talk to your woman and tell her anything you want to without fear of being, because as men sometimes, I see a lot of you dudes out there and you don't want to approach your woman with something because you just don't want to hear her mouth. Don't want to hear her nagging. Uh, you got to get over that, okay? Because no matter what you do, if she's a nagger, she's going to nag anyway. Okay? Or you don't want to approach her with something because you don't want her to uh, get quiet on you. Uh, give you a cold shoulder. Not have sex with you. Drop that too. Because that's only temporary. Now, when you do tell... So that's the setup. Okay? 
you got yourself feeling good about yourself. You got you're holding your own nuts. You're working out. You're leading by example. Okay, now when you go to tell her uh, what you want to tell her, uh, you need to be very direct and honest, but don't be intentionally mean or insulting. Now this is where we go wrong a lot of times too. Don't go off because women will try to throw you into this emotional zone where anything you say can then be used against you. It's like when somebody's being arrested. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. Just remember that if she tries that, she was going to try that anyway. So be direct. Go straight in. Uh, be honest, okay? Not intentionally me. Now, example. When I did this with my woman, now, I've been in my relationship with my woman for nine years now. Almost going on ten. We have definitely developed a rapport where she knows that if I'm direct and I tell her something, I'm not doing it because I want to hurt her. I'm just being direct because I'm being honest and uh, she needs to know what page I'm on so she can get on the same page. And it's just as plain and simple as that. Now, the way we got into that whole scenario is because it started from day one. Now, I realize that I'm talking to a lot of guys now who may not be in that particular situation just because of the way your relationship has been going for all these years or months or whatever that you've been with your woman. So my example is may not apply to you or it may apply to you later on when you establish the type of rapport that I'm talking about. But with my woman, I noticed recently that she was getting a little flabby and getting a little loose. See, my woman's not a fat woman. She has a little bone structure, but um, like all women, and this is something that's not fair to women also, they have a high fat content, a much higher fat content compared to muscle, uh, fat to muscle ratio than a man does. So they gain weight extremely easily. So my woman is employed, she's a nurse, uh, intensive care and emergency room nurse. So she's on her feet all day and that's exercise in a sense, but then when she gets home, she's so tired that usually what she does, she just eats and she goes to bed. That's the problem. Because all that work you did, all day at work, all that exercise you got, you're just overruling that when you eat and then lay down and go to bed. So I noticed she was getting a little flabby. Not fat, but just flabby. So I used the direct approach and I just told her. I said, hey, do you get a little flabby? Maybe you should uh, do a little something about that, go work out, or, you know, get yourself some uh, uh, Zumba videos or something. I can download you some, you know. So that's the way I told her, just straight out and direct. And she might have felt a little off put by it at first, had a little bit of problem with it, you know, at first. You feel me? But. After that, she accepted it, and she knew what she had to do, so every day now when she comes home from work, she cooks, and then she goes in the room, and she puts on the uh, Zumba DVDs, and she get it popping for about an hour or so. She's been doing that every day, and for the last couple of weeks, and uh, she lost about 10 pounds. She ain't looking flabby no more. It's starting to look better again, so yeah, it works. You may get a different reaction, because... If this is the first time you're approaching your woman like that, you may get some clapback, some reprisals. So what you do is you address any clapback, backlash, uh, or reprisals, or whatever with indifference. Let's say she's trying to just start something with you all the time. Trying to complain about what you're doing. Uh, at the particular time or insult you or just so she can get even or if she's cutting you off from sex or cutting you off from uh, 
cleaning behind you or cooking for you I covered that a little earlier in the video you should be doing some of those things for yourself anyway so the way you deal with any reprisals clapback or backlash is that you deal with it with indifference and a stoic type look on your face and you deal with it with platitudes and if you don't know what that means look it up but you say things like um, it is what it is that's how I feel uh, I can't help how I feel and, or I didn't sign on to be with a big girl or a fat girl I hope you understand uh, or I'm only hard on you because I have confidence in you and I know that you can do this okay that's a good one something to that effect but the main thing is hold your nuts and stick to your guns stick to your guns don't go back on what you said okay and if you've done everything right up to this point uh, she will know that one you care about her two you're only doing that for her health and because you want her to be all she can be in life and be as close to what she used to be when you got with her as she as she can and there's nothing negative about that uh, three she will also know that um, since you're doing things for yourself and you got this um, if she does decide to leave you and you're not talking about cheating on her or anything like that don't go there just she will know that you're not interested in someone else you're just trying to get things straight in your own household or whatever in your own relationship and also she will know that if she does happen to not like what you've said and take it to the next level and try to leave you that there can always be someone behind her in her place that's just the way it is so uh, those are the steps to coming out and telling your woman to lose some weight now I know there's gonna be some guys out there who are gonna look at this video and they're gonna be chicken hearted and they're gonna say oh well, you know, I can't do that I don't, I don't know I don't know you know that's that 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 that's that bitch in you coming out you need to suppress that you know you need to work on that okay all right so uh, any any comments that you have just leave below any questions you have just leave them below and I will try to get back if there's serious questions uh, with a short answer I can't go into too much detail but I will try to help you any way I can I hope that this video has been helpful to some of you guys out there and I hope that um, you can have the type of rapport with your female your woman that will allow you to approach her with this type of thing without any trouble so this has been episode one of hold your own nuts friday session okay and my name is skd and i am out Hold your own nuts. Hold your own nuts.